Hi, and welcome to Lily Love Coach. In the last segment, I talked about mirroring and active listening. One block that normally happens is egos get involved and we get defensive. Um, we think we hear criticism. Again, I want you to be able to put your ego aside and listen to the following example so that you can really hear your partner and ultimately save the relationship, creating not only emotional intimacy, but eventually that translates into sexual intimacy. Duh! The hardest thing is when our egos get involved. If you hear your partner saying something like, I feel you're acting lazy when you don't want to come to the park with us and spend the Saturday hanging out. Or, I feel that you're lazy when you're watching football and I could really use some help around the kids and I feel alone. So, first of all, if somebody tells you your entire character that you are lazy, you're a lazy person, I want you to remind him this isn't about you attacking my character, okay? We're not identifying who I am as a person. We're talking about behaviors. So it's important for the person who's expressing frustration to talk about behavior and not overall character. Now, the part about the ego is when you hear something like that, it's like, no, I'm not lazy. I just want to watch football. But again, it's about feeling heard. So monitor your own internal, like, rising elevation when you hear lazy or whatever it is that sets you off and still repeat it back anyway. The fact is, you know, who's she to say? Are you lazy? Are you not lazy? Who's anyone to say? Ultimately, if you don't believe it about yourself, that's all that matters. You're not defending who you are as a person. Okay, so what I hear you saying is, you think I'm lazy when I'm choosing to watch football over watching the kids, or I don't feel like going to the park on Saturdays, and you're frustrated. And then you might put in there, I'm sorry that you're feeling that way. You're not saying, you know, I'm sorry, this is who I am, this is, you're not admitting you've done anything wrong, you're not saying you're a bad person, you're not telling her that you agree with her, you're lazy, you're just saying, I'm sorry you feel that way. Okay, I promise if you keep this up, sex will happen more often.